Today we're going to be demonstrating how to change the motor oil and oil filter on a 2006 Audi A4 with the 2 liter TFSI engine. We're going to be using one of our Blau oil change kit options. This oil change kit for the 2 liter TFSI features the appropriate amount of Revenol VMO 5W40 motor oil. Revenol VMO is made in Germany and is a 100% fully synthetic motor oil and features Revenol's legendary Clean Cinto technology. Revenol VMO is a 5W40, which is the recommended oil viscosity for the Audi 2 liter TFSI engines. Also, this oil carries the VW50200 and VW50501 oil quality standards. These are the proper oil quality standards that should be used in the Audi 2 liter TFSI engines. For the oil filter, we have a Mala Original Oil Filter and O-Ring. Mala is an official OE supplier to many of the German automakers. In our oil change kit, we also have the drain plug. The drain plug is the exact design and function as the factory drain plug with a built-in sealing washer. So that's what's included in our oil change kit. Let's get started on changing the oil. The first thing you're going to want to do is warm up the engine and this will allow the oil to more easily flow from the engine as it's being drained. Next loosen the oil fill cap and this will help the oil flow as it drains from the engine. The next thing you're going to want to do is remove the splash pan. Uh, this particular vehicle does not have the splash pan on the underside of the vehicle. Um, but in order to remove the splash pan, you're going to have several fasteners here on the front side. Then there's going to be some on the rear and on each side right here. And you're going to use typically... Using a 19 millimeter socket, you can remove the drain plug and drain the oil. Once the oil is drained, you can install your new drain plug. And torque the drain plug to 22 foot-pounds and then clean off any of the residue, oil residue left over. Next we're going to remove the oil filter. The oil filter is located uh, just above the subframe on the driver's side of the engine. Here's the transmission uh, that you're seeing right here and then the engine's up towards the front. So you're going to have to access it through here and first thing you're going to want to do is remove the motor mount sensor plug and then remove the filter housing drain cap. Next you can install tool T40057 which allows the filter housing to be drained. And as you thread in the tool, it'll release the valve that's in the filter housing and drain the oil out of the filter housing. Once the oil is drained from the filter housing, you can remove tool T40057. Next, using a 36 millimeter socket, you can remove the filter along with the filter housing. The next thing we can do is remove the filter from the filter housing. Just slides directly upward. 
And as well, there's an O-ring in here that you're going to want to replace with your new O-ring. Next, we can lubricate the new O-ring for the oil filter housing with some fresh oil. If you're wondering why I'm pouring from this oil jug, that's because I'm using the Revenol Bag and Box VMO 5W40. And you just simply insert it the exact same way the old oil ring was taken out with the tab up towards the top. Next you can install the new filter and as well I like to lubricate both sides of the filter which have o-rings uh, built into the filter. So after lubricating both sides of the o-rings on the filter you can install the filter into the filter housing and there's no difference in top and bottom uh, as to the orientation because they're both the same. And you just drop it into place and push it down until it pops into the housing. Then it's ready for installation. Next you can reinstall the filter and the filter housing. And once the filter housing is in place, you can tighten it and torque it to 25 newton meters. Next, you can reinstall the filter housing drain cap. Reinstall the engine motor mount sensor plug. You can begin filling the engine with oil. The appropriate amount is going to be the 4.6 liters of engine oil. And as well, if you're wondering why I'm pouring from the jug, as noted earlier in the video, I'm using the Revenol VMO. 20 liter bag and box oil. If you're buying one of our oil change kits, it's going to have the 5 liter jug in it or 5 liters in the bottles. You can reinstall the oil fill cap. Next we're going to start the engine and allow the oil to fill up the oil filter housing and oil filter area and then we will turn the engine back off and get an accurate oil level indication from the dipstick. Now we can get an oil level indication from the dipstick. You can remove the dipstick and clean off the indicator and then reinsert it back into the engine and this will give us an accurate oil level. And according to our dipstick, we're right at the top side or just below the max level, which is 4.6 liters. Before installing the splash pan, you want to check the drain plug area as well as the filter housing area to confirm that there is no oil leaks after just running the vehicle. You can reinstall the splash pan on the underside of the vehicle and as uh, we discussed earlier in the video there was no splash pan on this vehicle uh, but the best way to, to get it installed is to slide in one corner uh, up towards the front and then work your way across the front bumper edge here and then tip up the back side along this edge and again you're going to have several regular screws on the front side on the back side you're going to have some screws and as well 
in the wheel well areas. So that's an overview on how to change the motor oil on a 2006 Audi A4 with the 2 liter TFSI engine. If you'd like more information on our products and a full line of Audi and Volkswagen oil change kits, feel free to visit our website at wellparts.com. Thanks for watching.